Hey everyone, welcome to a new video of my mega park. Now, as I said in the last episode, uh, I want to build a uh, big coaster again in this uh, video. And this time I've chosen to build a coaster that I really like to build, which is an accelerator coaster. Now, I did, we did a contest on accelerator coaster. Uh, we got some great entries. Um, if you don't know what an accelerator coaster is, it's a coaster with a hydraulic launch. And you may have uh, seen rides like uh, King Daka, Top Trail Dragster, but also uh, rides like Accelerator at Knott's Berry Farm and uh, even Rita at uh, Alton Towers, I believe, um, Desert Race at Hyde Park. There's uh, quite a few of these uh, hydraulic launched uh, rides. Um, sadly, they are a bit known for uh, not being very reliable, breaking down quite often. So, I don't believe Intamin actually sells uh, these coasters anymore. And typically, these days, uh, the launches have been replaced with uh, magnetic launches, like you see on the coaster here. Anyway, uh, I think it's time uh, this park gets a, an accelerator coaster of its own. Now, I do realize uh, we already have two launched coasters, so this will probably be the the last big launched coaster this park will get. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to build it. Uh, I've been uh, yeah, doing some thinking on where I want to uh, build it. And I've decided to go for uh, this spot over here. So I will start right next to the kiddie area. Uh, the coaster will not get an entrance from the kiddie area, because that would be uh, silly. The guests will enter it from the main path. Uh, it will not, will not really get a team of its own, just because it's, uh, it will uh, stretch for such a long way. Uh, but I will give it its own uh, specific type of greenery. I want to use some warm colors, so I'll probably use uh, this color a lot for the trees and plants surrounding it. Anyway, I think it's time uh, I get started on uh, building it. Now, as you can see, uh, for the booster, I'm using these uh, these uh, limb launch uh, sections right now. Um, like I said, it's, it's an hydraulic launch, so a real coaster would not have these uh, magnetic uh, boost sections. So I will later replace it with a different track, which more looks like a, a track used for a hydraulic launch. Anyway, uh, one feature that I really like in Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is the simulation feature. So I'll be using that uh, here. Now you might notice that the coaster won't quite reach the top uh, when the when the track type is Twister Roller Coaster, that's because the Twister Roller Coaster has a slower boost speed than the Giga Coaster. So when I change it back, as you can see now, it will uh, make it over the top. Alright, you can see I used the stand up roller coaster trains uh, on this coaster. Uh, not because uh, guests uh, would stand up in this coaster, uh, but just because it looks the most like the Intamin trains. 
Well, I guess if guests would have to stand up in this coaster, that uh, would probably be a little bit too extreme. Okay, I'm now happy with the speed of the roller coaster. Obviously, there are still some invisible parts here that I have to fill out. Just because the Giga Coaster track normally doesn't have uh, vertical uh, track sprites. So, I will uh, use the Limb Coaster track to, uh, to fill out uh, this part. Um, I will not use the inverted uh, Impulse Coaster for this. Uh, it's it does have uh, wait. The track does look more like the Giga Coaster track, but it's really uh, difficult to line them up in the vertical part. I will use this track for the launch section, though, so you will see me use it uh, in a bit. Instead of uh, boosters, you can also use uh, <coughs> Giga Coach, uh, I mean, uh, chain lift uh, for the launch. You, know, you can uh, use the unlock operating limits cheat to set your chain limits to an incredibly high speed. Then you can also launch it. The downside of the, this is that uh, should people uh, open your park and uh, watch it and if the ride then uh, breaks down, which is uh, quite likely because the reliability of a ride uh, drops really fast if the uh, chain lift speed is higher, then uh, it may get uh, stuck not being able to uh, get up the hill if the chain lift uh, is broken. So yeah, then you have to manually uh, reset the ride. So yeah, that's why I prefer to use uh, boosters. But yeah, chain lifts will, uh, will also work. Now what I did here is I uh, <coughs> replaced the track with this uh, inverted impulse coaster track and I made the booster uh, boosters invisible and now I will put some uh, normal track with a chain lift uh, in reverse and that way it will look like the, like the hydraulic launch track. Alright, then I will place a little building here for the hydraulics and then I'll make some supports uh, behind the big tower. Now, if you're building one of these towers using uh, roto drops, 
uh, you may sometimes see these top pieces appear and these top pieces uh, appear if you have a rotor drop track and for example if I move it one unit up you will see a top piece appears these top pieces only appear if there's not uh, something above the rotor drop which is exactly four units higher so you can see now it's now at 89 and the object above it is at 92 that means there's a difference of three between the two so it shows a top piece if I move it back to 88 now the rotor drop piece is at 88 and the piece above it is at 92 so there's four units difference so that means the top piece of the track will not show at this point might be a neat little uh, thing to, re to remember Oops, <laughs> I accidentally merged the track here, um, but luckily there were no guests in the coaster yet. Okay, I'm quite happy with the way these uh, supports look. Uh, there's a little gap in between here, but uh, I think I can ignore that. Uh, something else I really want here is a drop tower um, along this uh, these supports. So that's something I will uh, try to make now. Now sometimes uh, what I like to do in for my uh, thrill rides is to make a little operator booth. I haven't done it in this park yet, but uh, for this ride I think it will uh, look nice. I usually uh, use a t-shirt stall for this, as they uh, typically uh, work well as an uh, operator booth. So yeah, just remember to close them and <laughs> name them operator booth. The good thing about uh, doing it this way is since it's not an operational uh, shop, I can just copy and paste it everywhere I want. But obviously uh, it will have some uh, t-shirts for display here. So yeah, because uh, I will copy and paste this right everywhere. This uh, stall, I mean. 
the t-shirts will also have the same color everywhere. I think this, uh, this dull red color will work quite well everywhere in the park. Okay, the drop tower uh, still needs a name, and actually so does the roller coaster. So if you have any uh, good names, uh, just let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I might just uh, choose your name if I really like it. Now, one thing I really don't like about the uh, Giga Coaster, as it is in this game, is that the the brakes uh, look really uh, uh, silly. Well, yeah, maybe this is uh, how they looked on the uh, older uh, variants of the Giga Coaster, but typically on more modern uh, versions, these uh, brakes have all been replaced with uh, uh, electromagnetic brakes. So that's what I will also replace them by. Uh, right here except these uh, block breaks uh, maybe Alright, I think that was enough for this uh, episode. Uh, so, I built this uh, big accelerator coaster here. Um, so yeah, I used the stand-up trains just because it looks most like uh, the Intamin uh, trains. Made a little transfer track over here. Uh, I started on a queue area. Um, obviously, I still need to uh, decorate it. And the coaster also still needs a station. Uh, I made a drop tower here. I really like the way it uh, looks. <laughs> Capacity is quite low just because I only made a single uh, single rail. I may add another one later, but uh, I think I'll keep it like this because uh, I really like the way this, uh, this looks. Also made a little catwalk here on top of the coaster uh, for evacuations, I guess. But yeah, um, the drop tower and the coaster still need a name, if you have a good name, just uh, let me know in the, in the comments. Um, so yeah, the area still needs some work, maybe I'll add another uh, right, uh, right ne next to it in this area. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to uh, decorate this, but that'll be something for the next episode. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, for now, let's just follow one of these trains, uh, the ride will be pretty short, and then uh, that'll be the end of the video. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. <laughs>